Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, yes, Raid have dropped the best event they ever do. Imagine when you get super excited just because they give you free gear removal. Well, we've got until Saturday the 17th. So we've basically got a couple of days. Yeah, and I don't know if this is going to be, it's like 9 a.m. now, literally right now, I think until 9 a.m. Saturday. So we've got two full days to make use of free gear removal. And I would suggest if you've been thinking about you know, building that clan boss team, building that dungeon team to, to be 100%, I've got a bunch of them to do myself. And honestly, it gets worse and worse as a content creator because I ruin stuff to show you cool stuff. So I've got a bunch of these to do myself and I will be using this a lot. We're going to turn on free premium optimizer for everyone again. So we, we try and, look, I'm going to be completely frank with you here. We've got a development team. We pay them. They get paid well. They do a brilliant job. And they constantly enhance, improve the optimizer, make sure it's updated on the day that, that patches go live, etc., etc. So that team deserve what they get, yeah, which is why premium is not free all the time. Um, however, when these events come around and we think a lot of people can make use of it, we're going to flip it on like we're doing today. So free optimizer is going to be up. I'm going to show you some optimizer stuff in a minute so you can kind of make use of the tool as best as possible if you're new to it. Uh, and we're going to talk about a couple of other things that are going on right now as well. So we have got, yes, 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 Raid, sell me some stuff. Give me some freebies. We have got as well two times voids. Um, so that's nothing new. Two times voids happening this weekend. I'm actually at... An event on Friday, so I won't be streaming Friday, but I will be streaming with Lady H on Saturday. So come and grab me in my Discord if you want me to add your shard pools to the mix on Saturday, and we'll do a live stream Saturday night. We might have one or two tipples to uh, make the night go smooth. <laughs> uh, now we've also got this here, Champion Chase Tournament. So this is new from Friday, for, so from tomorrow until Monday. We're running a special champion chase tournament. Get champions, so basically you shards, whatever. Take first place to win amazing rewards. If you're first, you're going to get yourself an Arbiter skin if you're high level or a Kale skin if you're low level. I guess like, with this type of thing, I mean, I certainly wouldn't be blowing cash to get myself a skin like this, but it's kind of like, you know, they, they should just do top 10 or whatever. It, it's, it's literally changing nothing in the game giving people a reward, whatever. You either like it or you don't for this type of stuff. If you manage to end between first and fifth on the global leaderboard, so pull more shards or get better champions than anybody else in the game, top five, you're going to get the Jade Serpent skin for Arbiter. It's really like... It's really like... Raid, what, what do you think there? Do you think that is like super good deal? Do you think that this is worth top five on globals? Like, are you out of your freaking minds here? How is it not at least the top hundred? At least top hundred raid. Honestly, you're out of your crazy mind sometimes. I don't get it. But yeah, if you end up coming top one, you would pick up this Lumaya skin in your group. Uh, as I say, it's kind of like you either like it or you don't. So let's talk about the optimizer here quickly because, uh, as I say, we've turned it on for free. Uh, it's, all, it's always a free tool, by the way, if you're on PC or Mac. And I know we don't get the, the kind of player base here that, uh, in fact, someone comments, if I hear you talk about the optimizer when there's not a mobile version available, then uh, I'm going to stop watching that video. And I'm like, okay, mate, look, sorry, sorry. Ray, don't give us an API link. So we are actually working on a mobile version however it's not close because it's really difficult and it's really expensive to do and uh, what we don't want is to tell everybody that uses it they have to do some sort of tech savvy stuff yeah we want it to be it's going to be usable it needs to be usable for the masses but like we could probably make something happen quicker if you jailbreak your your device and blah 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 we don't want to get you to do that because we don't want them to be you know I guess we don't want any comeback on us if something goes to crap with your device because of something we've asked you to do. So we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it the proper way. 
and that takes a lot of time and resources and etc etc so uh we're, we're funneling one member of the team who's probably the well is is the most insanely dev savvy member of the team to do that that's literally everything else that comes in i'm like no don't do that try and make this work for us so just kind of i guess it's a watch out really we'll we'll get it going as soon as we can um anyway optimizer if you want to if you want to get involved you have to be a member free member works fine but you have to be a member on the site come into optimizer raid optimizer and download the tool so you'll come to this page here and you'll see on the kind of opening page download the extractor uh, either for pc or mac if you don't own a pc or mac just go and borrow your neighbors for a, a neighbor's laptop or something for the day or perhaps your nieces or whatever just like find access to one is what i would suggest that's what i suggest up to you though um we've got basically we've got all these different t uh, tabs up here there's also a stats section which we will be doing soon like who's your uh who was your best ever ice golem team what success rate did it have etc that's not in yet we're still working on it but that's definitely going to be something for this year um and then it kind of talks here about what happens if you actually support the team and what do you what do you gain from that there are some previous videos on this page which are good ones yeah so nine key builds i think is a great video for seeing how the optimizer works it's a little bit older now but still brilliant video uh and it's worth a look so let's have a look here at some of the stuff that's going on if you are a premium user you get on the artifact page a rating system now, if you go into the little donor up the top right here and do your account settings, you can tell it what type of account you are. Do you feel like you're early game, mid game, late game or end game? And I've got myself as end game. What it will do is it will look at the stats that we think each gear set needs to be a good piece. There will be anomalies to this. OK, so it is definitely not foolproof. Literally, I came up with a concept on an Excel sheet. Me and Saf then refined it so that it didn't throw out silly results. And we've tweaked it over time to try and improve it. Um, it's definitely not foolproof, but it does give you a bit of a sense of, you know, what's good. And, and basically the ratings go from godlike, it does say down the, the bottom uh, left-hand side here, godlike to bin, uh, bin it off, extremely bad. I will say though, like if we look at, let's reset a second, if we show my savage gear. Some of the stuff I use on my best champions is not rated well, okay? You know, I've got a strong piece here. This should absolutely be a godlike piece. And, you know, we still need to refine it, obviously, a bit more. So, so this, this type of example, I will be sending off to, to Saf now to say, probably we need to tweak Savage a bit more. Yeah, whereas this piece here, which says godlike, is actually worse than the two strong and very strong pieces. But what you shouldn't see is in the bin or weak when you've actually got good pieces okay this this little one here where you see it's got an initial rating and then the, the gold is what it could be so what it's saying here is at the moment it's very weak it's got very little stats but but the best you could get if you roll it is godlike and that's if it lands crit uh, damage and attack multiple times or speed as well so all of these base stats are good i just haven't rolled the piece yet so yeah you will get examples of and i'll find some gloves to you here but i want to be completely transparent this is not at all to just sell everything off so all i'd say is that's going to be turned on you can use it as a reference point but don't just sell everything that is weak or in the bin actually apply some brain as well so the the second or the the, the kind of big win i think for for the optimizer this year i mean over the last couple of years really the team optimizer is absolutely insanely good so if you want to find a team that you can run and this is based on other people who use the optimizer so basically every time someone has got this tool open yeah the extractor open when they are playing the game see the way it says their link established as long as you uh, this is still ticked to live updates you can untick it if you don't want us to see your stuff but as long as it says link established and you've got the live updates ticked basically what happens is the optimizer is recording your stuff yeah it's recording your runs so let's take Firenight for example if you wanted to find a hard stage 10 for fire knight and see if you could actually see if you've got champions that can actually do it you can literally say find me a team and what this is saying to me is hell hades based on your champions and based on everything we've recorded these are the fastest team goes to the top see this fastest team you could say 
actually no, I want the, the team with the best win rate at the top. So currently, for my account, bearing in mind <laughs> how crazy my account is, the fastest 100% team is about five and a half minutes long for Fire Knight Hard 10. Bearing in mind they're going to be releasing like Hard 25 eventually. Yikes. Um, yeah, but if I was to, uh, I don't know, drop out there and say, okay, well, I can't do Hard 10. What about if I did Hard 6? Find me a team. Yeah, and again, based on my champions, it'll throw the fastest to the top. And you can play around with these. So you can say, well, actually, I want it to be at least a 99% success rate. I want there to have been at least 10 battles so that I know there's some consistency there. Apply filter, and it'll give you the teams that are best for that, for that thing. Also, you can say down in the bottom left here, only give me champions that are already six star ascended. I don't want to have to go and level up new champions for this. Or you can, uh, if there was a particular tournament on, you could say, actually, just show me epic only champions if it's an epic only event or whatever. Yeah, so you can play around with these filters. You can also say, uh, hold on a minute. I definitely want my Acrisia to be in the team because that's my favorite champion. But I do not want my Seer to be in the team because I've got her built to do something else and I don't want to change her build. So I can apply the filter and then again, it kicks out the, the results for that stuff. Um, so the team optimizer is, is like literally insanely good if you're struggling with content. Yeah, if you're on Clan Boss and you're like, okay, find me a team that just does the most damage. Yeah, so I could mimic this nearly 800,000 damage team, uh, which is right here. Interesting that Corvus is in this one as well. That's damn cool. But yeah, I, I could basically change my clan boss team up to be any of these. I could say, though, again, exclude Rogni. Yeah, because, and exclude Krisk. And then what's my best team? Yeah, and it's, it's um, this block damage, 240. Damn, that's a crazy team, actually. 240 million block damage team. Uh, I could also be like, yeah, but I definitely want to use my Jing Wan or whatever. Like you can you can do what you want. You'll notice though the results, if you if you get so specific, the results become way less because just maybe no one uses Jing Wan in Clan Boss. Yeah. So you see here, I'm surprised I even found two, but I've got two Jing Wan teams popping out for Clan Boss. So the team optimizer is absolutely brilliant. It's it's such an amazing tool. Uh, and the cool thing is when you find your team, I didn't say this actually, when you find your team. For premium, so this is what you would get if you were non-premium, yeah? Anyone can get this. But on premium, you can go view full details. And this is where it starts getting even sexier because it's like, what gear sets are they wearing? What accessories have they got on? What blessings do they have? Yeah, so you need to bear in mind that you might be able to, you might have the same five champions, doesn't necessarily mean you can do exactly what they're doing. So you're seeing the exact stats that that team that's running day by day over how many battles. This one's only over one battle. But you can see the exact stats that they're running with. The exact speeds, the accuracy numbers, the damage numbers, all of it. You see it all. You can also see the exact masteries they're running to get there. And what's even cooler is, and this is especially good for dungeons and stuff. If you click the show all button down the bottom here, you can see their AI setup. So you can basically mimic the way that team operates. or the way I, I tend to use this is, what can I do to enhance it? Like if I want to try and get a, a vibe for what type of team could I create? Uh, and then you're like, okay, well, I don't have this champion, but I, well, no, you wouldn't, you wouldn't get, I don't have this champion, but you could probably replace stuff as well if you wanted to in a team. Yeah, you then say, add champions to the team optimizer. And then basically you get this screen here where you're optimizing a champion. So um, you go into Chris and you start to do your optimization. So let's do, what, what we would do here, I'll show you as a separate one champion thing. If for whatever reason it doesn't feel like it's working for you, just hit reset filter. Probably means you've filtered on something and you just don't know what it is. So reset filter is your friend. So here we go. If we wanted to build out an Elder Skarg, for example, you've got on the start screen, you've got a few options. Balance mode, damage mode, or survival mode. If you've built out this champion before, it will remember what you did as a premium user. So that would be something that's on right now. But um, if you didn't, I'll, I'll do it as if we've never done him before. This is what you would get. This is your start screen. And then you want to choose what you're going to do. So if anyone is physically going to be hitting hard, you want to choose damage mode. If anyone is 
like a support type champion, probably balance mode is your best bet. And if anyone is just straight up going to be a tank and that's basically their only job, then survival mode will give you the most survivability in a situation. Let's use damage mode here. It does help if you tell it what skill you're trying to push damage on. So if you know, for example, uh, for example Elder Scrolls got a crazy A2, so I'm going to be telling it do A2. This is especially important if you've got enemy max HP skills, um, you know, that type of thing, because it understands the mechanics of how skills do damage. If you've got uh, a champion that ignores defense, they're yeah, like a Shamal might or like a Raw Huntsman. If you put the damage mode on the skill that ignores defense, then it won't try and find you savage gear, which ignores defense. Yeah, because it knows you're already ignoring defense. So it will just find you massive high crit damage gear. So once you've done the, the kind of mode you want, so presets are kind of like an old legacy thing that you don't really need anymore. I would say they're not great to use. We probably should strap them, but some people do still use them. Um, go into configure and you can say include equipped artifacts. So steal from other champions. You can also say include it artifacts from required artifact sets regardless of lock status so what that means is you see this little padlock i can literally lock a champion so that we don't steal from them yeah where this says include equipped it will no longer steal from someone with a padlock now you see i've got five different layers of padlock so you can go into your settings top right um count settings and just enable advanced locking it's a really good setting so you see here i've got some different levels of padlocks some fives, some fours, whatever. Uh, what I do is generally, I've, it's actually a bit all over the place, but like five is my um, like top tier champions. Yeah, I have like four, I think is my clan boss team. Yeah, so I, but you can choose whatever you want them to be. Five might be clan boss, four might be arena champions, three might be dungeons or whatever. Um, so when I'm doing the configure, I can say include artifacts from a set regardless of lock status that will include all of the lock champions or i can say include artifacts on lock champions and then i can say but don't include five like five is a, is a no touch and actually three is my arena champions don't include those but everyone else is up for grabs these are the masteries you've currently got on the champion if you don't have masteries you can hand select the ones that you want to take yeah or if you've already got masteries and you're just trying to play around for build like Let's say you're trying to go high resistance build. You could just be like, well, let's see what happens if I turn the two resistance masteries on and Laura Steel on. Do I get a much better build, for example? Yeah, you then go into your stats, but we're going for damage here. So we're going to go back for our damage, damage stuff. Um, go into stats. Uh, or in battle, sorry. In battle, you can kind of tell it what you're fighting. So this is quite important, actually. If, you're, if you know you're going to be fighting in the arena, live arena, and you know that generally it's tanks, and you're not going to debuff them, then your target defense is going to be 4k. Yeah. Or if you're actually fighting a specific boss, let's say we're going to fight Dragon Boss Hard 2. It knows the stats of the boss. Yeah. It's taken those stats from the Raid Stages tool from the website. So we now know the accuracy we need, we know the resistance we need, etc. And you can actually say, there's so many options here that you can min max if you want to min max you can yeah so you can say well the enemy's going to have i don't know whatever buffs up yeah or it's going to have increased defense up it's not but let's say it was yeah and it will start to know the enemy's defense it will know that it's got increased defense etc or you can say i'm definitely going to have decreased defense on it again it knows the enemy's defense it knows it's going to have decreased defense and therefore it knows whether savage gear is better or normal gear is better very very clever um, you can also say, well, what buffs am I going to have? I'm going to have increased attack. I'm going to have, I don't know, increased crit rate, for example. Um, and then it will know not to try and build you with 100% crit rate. It will build you with 70% crit rate. Yeah, so it's, it's very, very clever. Depend, use it as much or as little as you want, really. You could just go kind of bare bones. If I'm doing a damage build, literally all I will do, if I don't care about anything else, I will just tell it the speed I want. Let's say I want 180 speed on my Elder Skog. That's all I would do if I was doing a straight damage build. And then I'd hit, uh, then I would go into, uh, well, I'd, I'd walk down the rest of it. If, if I know I want accuracy as well, again, just put the minimum you want. It will basically get to about that level. Yeah, so 
This is this is all I would do. You can if we go back to the battle. You can see here we can see how much accuracy we need. Uh, so this is his resistance. Therefore, we need 235 accuracy. Yeah, we can see it right there. So I can tell it exactly what I want. 235. Um, okay. If, if we go down a bit further, so you get into slots, it might be that you've got a specific, I don't know, reaction ring you want to wear or a specific banner, which is like avenging banner or something. So you can just say, don't change the ring. The ring is fine as it is. The rest of it, optimize. Uh, it, will, it will include the ring stats, but it won't try and find you a different ring. Okay, it will just leave the one that's on. Uh, I would say if, if you're struggling with your PC, if it's not very good, then hand selecting one slot, a ring or a ring and an amulet will massively speed up the optimizer. Okay. You can also go into sets and say, I only want you to look for savage. Yeah, you can say savage, bam. If you're doing a damage build, I would not suggest you do that. Let, let the optimizer find you your best damage gear. Okay. What you can do though is say, I don't want you to use any of my uh, lethal gear. So just unhighlight it. All my cruel gear. Like, I don't want you to use it. And then it won't find pieces in those sets. Uh, if you specifically want, you know, to include refresh accessories, you can say refresh accessories two, three, whatever. And it'll find those. Again, only if it's what you need for your build. Um, if you're doing a damage build, but you definitely want reflex, that's, that's where you would use the sets. Yeah, so if it's a specific set, regen, reflex, shield set, bolster set, those sets which have got a specific purpose in raid, that's when I would use the set count. And then glyphs is actually really, really crucial. So come in here and just tell it, I can glyph anything up plus three. I can put plus 10 accuracy on any piece because I've got loads of glyphs. Yeah, I can do plus three attack. What it will do is it will say, oh, I see you've got a piece that's already glyphed. Now I'm comparing almost like apples with apples. Yeah, so I'm like, your already glyphed piece is now being compared with one that's not glyphed yet, but I'm, we know you could glyph it. It's actually a really cool uh, thing. I only ever used a basic. In fact, I, I never even click on this advanced tab. My brain's not good enough for that. I just use this basic one. Um, hit optimize. Hit start, and what it'll do now is it'll it'll basically work through all of those requirements. At least 180 speed, at least 235 accuracy, um, at least 70% crit rate because we've got crit rate buff. Yeah, and what it's doing is it's trying to find me. Oh, look at these numbers. It's trying to find me my best attack with crit damage combo. These numbers are insane. What is going on with this? Uh, I guess it's because I got my blessing, but what the hell is this build? 381 crit damage with 8.5k attack? What the hell is that? I... <laughs> that's actually shocking to me. Um, you can also say, if you've got some stuff that's ascended but not maxed ascended yet, you can literally be like, assume I'm going to max ascend everything. Yeah, so I'm going to stop clear, go again. Area bonus are included in the results if you've got some. It's, these numbers are silly. Why are these numbers so high? Wow. This is an example of I don't own great boots. And look at the way it's, it's finding me a weak piece, but it's still the best piece for this build. And I'm looking for the best build I could possibly get on him. Damn, look, at the, look how much more damage you get if you are reducing the amount of crit rate you need. It's silly. These numbers are crazy. 8.5k attack. With 381 crit damage. Wow. Um, so that's that's kind of one thing. If you want to do a damage build like that. You can also do. Uh, let, let's choose someone who's going to be a support champ. So let's say I want to find. Uh, I always use Arbiter. Because that's what people generally use. But I want to find the fastest build for Arbiter. So for Arbiter I would go into balance mode. And super easy. I would just literally just go into stats. Uh, let's just a little bit smaller. I'll just go into stats and I'll tell it what stats I want. So if I'm just looking for my fastest Arbiter build, I'm going to speed and just use the slider on speed. Nothing else. No minimums, no numbers. Literally just use the slider. Yeah. Uh, I won't need to do anything else. I can just tell it glyphs. I might say, plus, I've done this before. I might say plus eight everything that I possibly get. How fast could my Arbiter be? Uh, and you can also say in the configure part, include artifacts from 
from everybody. Everybody. Yeah, it, like if I do this, I don't need to do the exclude button. So I've said any artifacts I own. What I am saying though is they have to be at least level eight. So you could bring it right down to level four. You could say, actually, I don't want to level any gear. I just want them to be all level 16 stuff. Yeah, max ascension, optimize, start. And it's saying here, my fastest arbiter that I could build would be just under 400 speed, 397. But you might be like, ah, hold on a minute. I wanted at least 500 resistance with that, with a fast build. So in this point, I would, I would not use the slider. I would just say minimum 500 resistance. Optimize, clear, start. And now it will say, oh, you're going to sacrifice five speed, but you will now get your 500 resistance. Uh, or you might say, let's just try and go a bit bolder. Uh, let's get some glyphs going on resistance here. Yeah, I'm saying like a max resistance on my, on my glyphs. And then you might be, so you might say, actually, 500 is not the number. I just want to get as much as I can. So at this point, I might use a slider and say, what can I get? What's my kind of trade-off? 350 speed gives me 740 resistance. Yeah, and I might be like, whoa, no, no, no. 300 speed would have been enough. So then I would be just flipping the sliders a bit to try and get that balance. So now we're saying, okay, 245 with 870. Don't feel like the first option's always gonna be the one you picked. Sometimes just clear, go back into the, the sliders and just have a little play till it's around what you want it to be. That's a, quite a nice way of using it. 800 with 320, okay, that feels good. Yeah, and then literally you go into view and you'll be able to see where the equipment is right now to get you to that build. Yeah, and you can see actually nothing here is actually equipped. Only the Arbiter Ring. I could literally go and equip all these things in game right now and I'd be able to achieve that build. So you can, what I tend to do is I just tend to look at the sets. I look at the rarity, see this little uh, color in beh behind it and then I go and find the piece myself. Yeah, hit and equip here will not equip anything in the game. It will just tell the optimizer that, that you're equipping it. Okay, so we don't, all we are is a screenshot, like a screen grab of your game at that moment in time. We're not interacting to push code into the game to equip stuff for you. You still need to do that at the moment. Um, what other build should I just quickly show you? I'll show you perhaps a tank build. Let's go for a Necret. Let's say we want survival mode. Survival mode is actually not great on a Necret because you really just want to pump HP up. But let's say we're going for a survival mode. I definitely want to use bolster sets. Yeah, so select bolster here. And, um, and a, a minimum speed is always good to put in. So whatever speed you want. You might say, actually, I don't have a minimum speed. Um, but I've got a minimum, I don't know, whatever it is. Accuracy of 180. Yeah, give it something. Survival mode will take the longest to find because it's just going to churn through tons of gear. But basically, what it's saying here is, at the moment, I've got 124,000 health, 4.2,000 defense. And what it's saying is, if you equipped this one, so see here, 127, more health, more defense, looks good. Still in bolster gear, yeah. But what it's saying is, if I hover over it, it shows me my EHP. See this EHP number just to the like top right of my head? That's your effective health points. That means how tanky are you? So when you hover over a build, it will tell you how, ta how much tankier you are getting. Yeah, how much am I growing my effective health points by by changing this build? And obviously you can see the, the, the rest of the stuff there as well. If you wanted to, let's actually do my cupidus a sec. If you wanted to do a damage build, it's just reminded me, damage mode on the A1 for my cupidus, uh, 230 speed. What's my speed right now? 160. I'm just going to mimic what I've got right now. Don't care about accuracy. Don't care about health. I just want to be. I'd say I'm going to drop my speed down. Minimum 140 speed. And I want it to be a damage build. And any sets, any slots, yes. Glyphs. I can plus eight my attack, let's say. Okay. And I just want to make sure that we're including all items that I own. Now, this is quite a cool thing. Again, it's, it's a premium perk. But if you go into the skills tab, and basically, you'll see how much damage your current build does per hit yeah, in your different items. Uh, you can also click and just see what that skill does if you want to have a look. If you hover over your new build, it will say, well, based on 
you change into this build, this is how much extra damage you're going to get. So 4% more damage on this Cupidus build if I change to this. And it would be stealing from just Septimus. Actually, this is very doable. I should just straight do this. Uh, just 4% more damage for one change. And that change is an acceptable one to me. Yeah, so that's the type of... But I guess just balance off that are you losing other stats that you want? Yeah, so at the moment I've got 47k health. Am I happy to drop down 1,000 health to get that extra 4% damage? Actually, because that's a no-brainer. So, look, enjoy it. It's definitely one of the best events that Raid run. Um, and, yeah, get yourself on some optimizing. I would say this is the, the time to do those rebuilds. I've been Hell Hades. I'll see you later.